Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Configuring Level Sweeps on the SMA100B. In this presentation, we'll explain the different types of level sweeps available on Roding Schwartz SMA100B analog signal generators, as well as show you how to configure and use each type of sweep. A level sweep changes the output power of the generator in a linear or monotonic fashion. The level is swept between a configured lower and upper limit, and this sweep can be done either from low to high power or vice versa. Level sweeps are useful in many different kinds of testing. A very common example of this is testing an amplifier. Although there are several different parameters that can be configured for a level sweep, the two most important of these are dynamic range and whether the sweep is interrupted or uninterrupted. Let's take a closer look at both of these parameters. Dynamic range is the distance between the supported start and stop levels. For example, this sweep has a relatively low dynamic range compared to this sweep. And generally speaking, having a high dynamic range, such as this one, is desirable. There are, however, two challenges when it comes to high dynamic ranges. The first is the accuracy of the signal amplitude over this range. In other words, how much error is there in the level of the signal as it's swept? This becomes particularly important at the high end of the frequency range. The other issue with high dynamic ranges is that this often leads to something called blanking. So let's take a moment to describe what we mean by blanking. The term blanking refers to brief interruptions in the generator output. For example, this level sweep contains brief moments where the generator output is blanked or off. The switching of internal attenuators is one of the most common reasons why blanking occurs during a sweep. Traditionally, Signal generator blanking occurs when the sweep level range is more than about 40 dB. Although there are some test scenarios where blanking isn't a serious issue, blanking is usually undesirable in many tests. Sweeps in which no blanking occurs are therefore called uninterrupted sweeps. Although normally we have to choose between either a high dynamic range or an uninterrupted level sweep, the SMA100B option K724 combines both of these desired behaviors. This option is therefore called High Dynamic Uninterrupted Level Sweep. In this case, high dynamic range is defined as being 70 dB or more versus the traditional max uninterrupted range of about 40 dB. The High Dynamic Uninterrupted Level Sweep option maintains level accuracy and signal quality, that is, no glitches or dropouts, over the entire level range. Let's go step by step and explain how these are configured on the SMA100B. We start by tapping on the sweep tile and then choose RF level sweep from the list of available sweep types. The most basic parameters of a level sweep are the start and stop levels, which are configured under the level range tab. In this example, we configure the sweep to start at minus 60 dBm and stop at minus 10 dBm. We also need to configure a step size, here 1 dB. Note that in level sweeps, the spacing of the steps is always linear. The dwell time, or the amount of time the generator stays at each level step, is configured under the General tab. Here we've configured a dwell time of 10 milliseconds. In the General Settings menu, we can also choose the shape of the level ramp, either a sawtooth pattern or a triangular pattern, the biggest difference between them being the way they return to the initial output level. The Level Range menu is where we configure the so-called setting characteristics. The choice of setting characteristics has a significant impact on the configurable sweep level range, as well as whether sweeps are interrupted or non-interrupted. The available modes are Auto, Uninterrupted, Strictly Monotone, Constant Visoir, and High Dynamic Uninterrupted. We'll spend the next couple of minutes comparing these different modes. Auto mode is the default mode for level sweeps on the SMA100B. It provides the highest dynamic range, here about 85 dB, and the fastest setting times. But as we can see in the zero span trace on the left, the signal may be briefly blanked or interrupted when the SMA's step attenuator switches. As the name implies, uninterrupted mode suppresses blanking or interruptions. Looking at the zero span trace, we don't see the same dropouts that we just saw in auto mode. However, this mode also reduces the dynamic or swept level range. In auto mode, our level range was about 85 dB, whereas in uninterrupted mode, the level range is now only about 35 dB. 
In uninterrupted mode, there may be very small variations in output level. So if our step size is also very small, say tenths or hundredths of a dB, situations could occur where the actual output level does not change. Strictly monotone mode can therefore be used to ensure that there is always an increase or decrease in the output level between each step. Note that this mode also reduces the configurable level range. Voltage Standing Wave Ratio, or VISWAR, quantifies the ratio of forward to reflected RF power. When using the SMA as an RF signal source, the resulting VISWAR is a function of both the load impedance and the impedance at the SMA's output connector. Small variations in the SMA's output impedance may occur as output level changes, and therefore the SMA provides a constant VISWAR mode that suppresses these changes in output impedance. In this mode, output may however be interrupted, and dynamic range is also reduced. As we discussed earlier in this presentation, high dynamic uninterrupted overcomes traditional limitations by providing a swept level output that has high dynamic range, 70 dB or more, and also does this without interruptions or glitches, as shown in the trace on the right. Note that the configurable sweep range in this case is over 100 dB. The other important configuration parameter for level sweeps is trigger mode. Trigger mode defines how the sweeps are performed, that is, if they're repeated, run only once, run upon user or external input, etc. There are numerous trigger modes on the SMA100B, so let's take a moment to go over each of them. Auto is a default trigger mode and causes the sweep to repeat continuously. No user intervention or external stimulus is required. Single, on the other hand, generates a single sweep every time the Execute Single Sweep button is pressed. In the trace shown here, both of the two sweeps were started after the Execute Single Sweep button was pressed. For sawtooth shape sweeps in single trigger mode, the retrace value defines what happens at the end of the sweep. If retrace is enabled, the generator output level returns to the initial value. If retrace is disabled, generator output stays constant at the last swept value. Step mode increments the level by one step amount based on user input. For example, with our step amount set to 1 dB, every user input will increase the output level by 1 dB. If no user input occurs, the output level will remain constant at the current level. Another useful function is reset sweep, which interrupts and restarts the current sweep. For example, by pressing the Reset Sweep button, this sawtooth shaped level sweep was immediately restarted. Sweeps can also be started using an external electrical signal or trigger. These can be used to run a single sweep, step through a sweep, or to start and stop sweeps. The configuration and use of these external triggers is analogous to the internal triggers we just discussed. The external trigger signal is connected to the SMA via the INST trigger BNC connector on the rear of the instrument. One final configuration parameter that might be useful is the display update setting. In some cases, disabling display updates can improve sweep performance, especially in the case of sweeps with very short dwell times. To disable updates, press the System Config tile, then choose Setup and Start Stop Display Update. Disabling Display Update simply keeps the level value in the SMA GUI from updating. All other GUI parameters and menus are still visible and active. Let's end with a brief summary. Sweeping the output power level of a signal generator is useful in many different test and measurement applications, for example in amplifier testing. Sweeps are relatively easy to configure, and there are two important sweep parameters, namely high dynamic range and uninterrupted output. In traditional signal generators, these were often conflicting parameters, with high dynamic range requiring blanking at different output levels. The SMA100B supports a variety of different level sweep types, including a high dynamic range uninterrupted sweep, which allows wide output ranges without blanking. Configuring level sweeps on the SMA100B is very straightforward using the SMA's graphical user interface, and programmatic control using industry standard Skippy commands is also supported. This concludes our presentation, Configuring Level Sweeps on the SMA100B. If you'd like to learn more about analog signal generation or the SMA100B, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.